Welcome back. We are looking at um, this series that I'm calling What's Missing, where we're looking at uh, some scripture and we're kind of looking to see what's happening between uh, some scripture, uh, be between the lines, looking at a period of time. Because oftentimes we can read we read the stories in any anything, even in movies and stuff, and it kind of glosses over um, some things that have to happen to move from one scene to the next scene. And that's what we want to focus on. The last video, we talked about uh, Abraham preparing and being prepared for having visitors. Today, we're going to look at Joseph in the dungeon. So we're going to be in Genesis chapter 40. Genesis chapter 40, and I want you to hear the, the, the scripture, and we'll kind of talk about it a little bit. It says, Sometime later, the cupbearer and the baker of the king of Egypt offended their master, the king of Egypt. Pharaoh was angry with his two officials, the, cup, the chief cupbearer and the chief baker, and put them in custody in the house of the captain of the guard in the same prison where Joseph was confined. The captain of the guard assigned them to Joseph, and he attended them. After they had been in custody for some time, each of the two men, the cupbearer and the baker of the king of Egypt, who were being held in prison, had a dream the same night, and each dream had a meaning of its own. When Joseph came to them the next morning, he saw that they were dejected. So he asked Pharaoh's officials, who were in custody with him in his master's house, Why do you look so sad today? And they answered, We both have had dreams, but there is no one to interpret them. Then Joseph said, Do not interpretations belong to God? Tell me your dreams. So, so the chief cupbearer cup told Joseph his dream. And he said to him, In my dream I saw a vine in front of me, and on the vine were three branches. As soon as it budded, it blossomed, and its clusters ripened into grapes. Pharaoh's hand was in my hand. And I took the grapes, squeezed them into Pharaoh's cup, and he put his cup in my hand. This is what it means, Joseph said to him. And then he gives him the interpretation of the, of, of the dream. And the chief baker tells Joseph the dream. And Joseph said, this is what it means. Now, <clears throat> this is a really cool story. Because there is someone there who is able to interpret divinely the dreams that the uh, chief cupbearer and the chief baker had. But if you read between the lines, there, there's uh, it doesn't say how long it took for Joseph to hear about the dream and for Joseph to say this is what it means. So what's missing is the period of discernment. What did Joseph have to do in order to make sure he was confident with what the interpretation of the dreams meant? I realize that Joseph has had a history of having dreams and interpreting them, but what is it about the period of time? What does Joseph do in the meantime from when the dream happened to giving the interpretation or to helping people see what the dreams mean? And that's what we want to think about. When you have something, when you are about to do an event or you hear something, how much time do you take before you make a decision? How much of a discernment process? How much do you seek the will of God? How much do you seek God's presence? Or do you just instantaneously go out and make a uh, decision? And so that's what we need to think about is the discernment. Making sure we are in line with God's will, with God's way, with with God's presence, with God's interpretation of what needs to happen. And uh, when we take the time to discern, we can go back confidently. Like Joseph was confident in his answers. And he was confident, especially after the interpretation he gave came to pass. Now, it is very possible that God gave Joseph the uh, interpretations instantaneously right then and there. It's also probable that Joseph had to take time and say, let me think about this. Let me pray about it. And so that's what I would encourage you to think about and, and, and do is take time to really think about, take time to search and study the scriptures. Think about God's past relationship with you, God's past actions uh, 
with you and what is it that you need to discern so you don't just jump into something haphazardly. And then the flip side of that is when you make a decision, when you feel like God is giving you the decision, do you have the patience to wait to see it through to make sure that that's what God wanted? And if it's not, just rediscern or uh, if it is the right decision do you, do you know how to keep moving forward and that's what Joseph is doing is is he is uh, finding a way to discern so he can keep moving forward and I think that's a question we have for us is what is your uh, discernment process and I just want you to think about that what's missing in this passage that we don't read in the direct text is the amount of time it was between the uh, naming of the dream and the interpretation of the dream. There had to have been some sort of discernment uh, process in there. And I invite you to look at your discernment process to just to see um, how we are lining up with God's will for our life and uh, making sure that we are paying attention to the movement of God always.